with uh, no doubt uh, the toughest game of the year last Saturday afternoon. What are some things we can learn and grow from uh, from that result? Yeah, I think we've had a great season. I mean, to finish the regular season at 23 and five is is outstanding um, to these ladies that they've worked so hard um, to help build a program in the last couple of years. The last two games, we've we faced two very good teams. I mean, Notre Dame's a very good team at home on their senior day. Uh, West Lib is a very good team. Um, I think what we've learned is that we got to follow our game plan. Um, people are pressing a little bit too hard right now. Um, we have to share the ball, do the things that we've been doing all year. Um, finish around the rim. We um, looked at film and we missed 27 shots around the rim. So we got to we got to take care of that. We got to lock in uh, the next three practices and and take care of details. And again, just play the way we've been playing all year. Um, you know, and playing lockdown defense. You know, I think we we did. Um, play good defense against West Liberty, but we have to take care of the little things and the little details, and they start in practice today. Well, before uh, talking about the postseason, uh, as you mentioned a little bit, what does it say about the team to put together a 23-win regular season as well as having win streaks of both eight and nine games this year? Yeah, to put together 23 wins is just amazing, considering when I came in, you know, four years ago, they had five. So, you know, we've gotten the right right team in, we've gotten the, the right players in, the right staff in. So it's just a credit to, to everyone involved in our, in our basketball family. Well, heading to the MEC tournament now, how nice is it to go straight to Charleston's one of the top four seeds, and does it help you work, uh, have extra time to work more on areas you need to? Yeah, um, you know, I think getting a buy is something that last year we got a buy as well. So again, it's just, it shows how much the growth of the program um, you know, has endured over the last couple of years. But we have to lock in. We're going to play the, the winner of Charleston um, and Shepard, both very good scrappy teams. Um, Charleston has Lockhart, who, who does it all for them. And, and they have a couple other players that um, are in the supporting cast down low. Um, and, you know, Shepard's just scrappy. They play really intense defense, and they're, they're just, you know, up and down. And so two different style teams, um, but we've played them both before. So now it's really just focusing on us and us getting better. Well, with uh, last week's results, uh, how much more important does it make our team playing well at the MEC tournament with regards to not only get grabbing a tournament title, but also qualifying for a regional? Yeah, I think it does. You know, I think 23 wins says a lot for itself for regionals, um, you know, whether we win or not in the tournament, but you never know um, with upsets and other tournaments. Um, but we really need to, to really just play our game. And I, f I feel like there's a reason the last two games we haven't played our game. I think, number one, we've been pressing too hard. But number two, we've played two very, very good teams. You know, and they, they took us out of ry rhythm. So credit to both of those teams um, for us. But it's just, you know, one at a time. And that's going to be our focus today is just we, we can't lock into winning the tournament. We need to focus on our first opponent, playing well, and getting that W. Well, lastly, as you mentioned, you faced the winner of Shepard and Charleston actually in the opening game of the whole tournament Thursday at noon. Uh, do you wait for that game to take place on Tuesday uh, to prepare more for Thursday or do you have a do, or do you have uh, plans set already for both teams? Yeah, we have plans for both teams, but right now um, today we're focusing just on us um, getting better. Um, and then we, you know we have scouts already from both teams, but we'll look at film of that game. Um, so it's really focusing on things that we need to do probably against both opponents. Uh, but we'll focus more on whoever we're playing, obviously, after that game um, happens. Yeah. All right, Chelsea, not quite the result we wanted last uh, Saturday afternoon, but what, what can the team really uh, learn from, from that game and how we played, uh, ourself, played on Saturday to better ourselves going from here on? Um, well, the way we try to look at every loss is a learning experience so that in reality it's not really a loss if you learn something from it. So of course we wanted that one. We definitely wanted it bad. West Lib is our rivals, but um, we definitely know what we have to do to prepare for Thursday's game. <clears throat> and right now we're just looking for one game at a time, doing the little things, making corrections, and a couple of those um, mean finishing at the rim, making our free throws, and just sharing the basketball. Well, you played uh, well yourself on Saturday. Do you feel that your role is to give up that type of uh, solid play and energy off the off the bench when you get? get into the games like that? Um, my dad always says, be ready when your number's called. So um, whatever they need me to do when I get out there is what I try to do. So um, on Saturday, they need a defense. And I just dedicated myself and my play to stopping the girl in front of me. So I'm glad that my coaches and my team were satisfied with my performance on Saturday. Right, before talking about uh, this week, uh, how nice is it to be part of the program's first uh, 
first 20 win season, most successful season really in, in quite some time. Oh, it's great. Um, it's, um, it's an accomplishment for us and we should be proud of it. It's definitely um, a check mark off our list of things that we set out to do this season. But like I said, it's only the beginning and we still have a lot of plans for the future. So um, this conference tournament will be a really good um, test to see how far this team can really go. How does it help uh, for for our team to go straight to Charleston, having that, that buying that time off, that time off, and extra practice time this week? It's more of a relief knowing that that stress of a playing game isn't there anymore. Um, to be number two is an accomplishment in itself, and um, we've earned it. So for us to get that buy and go straight to Charleston, we can relax a little bit, but not too much. But we still have some things to work on, and because we do have that buy, we can dedicate the time to work on us, like Coach said, versus preparing for a playing game. And lastly, uh, a little more of a fun question. Well, at, uh, think in your mind, what what would be the dream ending for for uh, this weekend, and how would how what do you see your role in that? Um, ideally. Um, we want to win a conference title, um, and that's what we're going to set out to do. So anything less than that is um, us falling short. So we want to win this conference title and get ready for regionals. We've never been there before, and so for us to actually have a berth in um, the NCAA tournament is definitely a great, a big deal, and we definitely want to um, take advantage of the moment.